Hi everyone, it's JJ and we have a rather special video today. So, we're going to look at building our very own ecosystem in a bottle. Now, an ecosystem is a tiny, self-contained environment. Think of all of the different ecosystems we have on planet Earth. We have things like deserts, oceans, forests, caves, lots of different places where animals and plants can thrive. So today we're going to build our very own ecosystem. And if you want to try building your own ecosystem at home, all you're going to need is a bottle, round about two meters in size, some water, some seeds, in this case I've got some parsley seeds here, herbs or other grass type plants will be absolutely fine. You're going to need some stones to line the bottom of our ecosystem bottle and of course some soil as well and then things to prepare the bottle are some scissors and some sellotape and that's all we need to get started so let's jump in and start to build our ecosystem so first things first we're going to remove a big chunk of the bottle about this much will do fine we just don't need it to be quite this tall so this is where we're going to need to use our scissors so do get a grown-up to help you for this part one of the easiest ways to do this as well as the safest is to remove the cap from the bottle give the bottom a squeeze and we can just cut like that okay so we're going to cut it doesn't have to be too accurate either as long as we get as close to a straight line as we can so there we have the top half of our ecosystem and now I'm just going to take off about this much from the bottom half of the bottle so again squeeze it to make it nice and flat where we're going to make our cut and then cut as straight as we can all the way along and there we go so we don't need that now we can put that to one side and we're also done with our scissors so now we have a nice height ecosystem bottle so now comes the fun part this is where we get to fill it with all of the things that are going to make our ecosystem work so for drainage and just to line the bottom we're going to put a layer of stones i think that will do just fine and there we are a layer of stones inside our bottle now what we're going to do is we are going to cover this with some soil now you can use a small spade or a small trowel but i'm just going to use my hands and just give them a nice wash afterwards so we're going to take our soil just like so and we are going to put it into our bottle now when you've poured some soil in just give it a little shake and that will make sure the soil gets into all of the gaps around the stones so let's pour in a little bit more oh we didn't need that much but there we go that's fine so i'm going to break that up a bit there we go and we have a nice layer of soil so i'm just going to make sure that's all shaken up and into the gaps where the stones are there we go okay right so now what i'm going to do is I'm going to add my seeds so I'm going to just push with my finger and just make some small pockets of soil that I can sprinkle my seeds into these tiny parsley seeds I'm just going to sprinkle them in like that there we go and a few more I think Now once you've put your seeds into the bottle 
we need to cover them with a little bit more soil so that they're nice and covered and protected. So I'm going to take a small handful of soil and just cover my seeds like so. Okay, so now what we have in our bottle is stones at the bottom surrounded by a layer of soil with our seeds and then a little bit more soil on top. Now, all we need to do is take some water and add it to our bottle just so that all of the soil is nice and moist and that everything is covered. Okay, so we're gonna give that a few seconds to all filter down and that looks great. Our soil is nice and moist there's a little bit of dry soil there, so let's just make sure that's got some water too. And a little bit more there. And there we go. That looks perfect. So this is our ecosystem completed. Now all that's left to do is to take our top half and place it over the bottom part and what we are going to do now is we are going to sanitape it just so it's nice and secure around the bottle. And this will just make it nice and sealed. So let's do that now. Let's grab a nice long piece of tape and pop it around our bottle and one part to the other side as well. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. Now, you're probably wondering how this works. Well, this is a completely self-contained environment. So, as these seeds begin to sprout, they will be able to use sunlight and conduct photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis is how flowers and plants turn sunlight into energy. And when they do this, they will release oxygen as well as moisture. So if you put this, just like I'm going to do, in a nice sunny spot, probably on a windowsill will be best. What will happen is you will notice that you will start to get water droplets on the inside of the bottle. That's known as condensation. Now it's much like what happens on planet Earth, but on a much smaller scale. It will have its very own water cycle. As the inside of the bottle warms up, the water from inside the soil will evaporate, form droplets around the bottle, and they will eventually, when they get large enough, much like the clouds in our sky, they will rain back down onto the soil. The soil, of course, is rich in nutrients that feed the seeds to grow, to produce photosynthesis, which produces oxygen and moisture, for the cycle to repeat and repeat again and again. How amazing is that? So this works largely the same way as our own planet Earth's water cycle does. Incredible! So why don't you see if you can create your very own bottle ecosystem at home? It truly is science in a bottle, and it doesn't get much cooler than that. You shouldn't have to do anything to this. You shouldn't have to add any water or anything else. And just watch and see how it all develops inside. I hope you learned something fun and cool today that you can try yourselves at home. Do like and subscribe because we'll bring more videos like this your way. Do take care everyone and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye bye for now.